Admiral Sinha, who is a veteran fighter pilot from the Indian Navy, someone who has flown all manner of fighters, including the Rafale, if I'm not mistaken. Admiral Sinha, your, your thoughts today, you know, most people would have thought that this was unthinkable, but the Indian government going ahead and announcing very shortly a deal you, for 26 for Rafale fighters program. for the Indian Navy, sir. Uh, thank you, Ship, for getting me on your program. Uh, it was in 2001. Uh, I was fleet operation officer and I had embarked the Charles de Gaulle. Uh, and that's the first time that the Rafale M was embarked on board hmm. and first time that it participated in an operation uh, in the, in the uh, Afghan war. Uh, and uh, the day I saw this operation, uh, I realized that it is technically very advanced aircraft and Indian Navy at some point in time must look at this as an option. I give that as a report. But I'm so happy today that, uh, uh, you know, the aircraft has been chosen if the reports are right. Uh, there are one or two points I want to make that similarity of the equipment, etc., as you rightly said, hmm. uh, but other components, uh, Shiv, 80% are sort of interchangeable with the land-based Rafal, and right. obviously 20% are uh, specific to to the, to the marine Rafale. That is number one. The second mm. thing is that it has to take off from the on a ski jump on both uh, Vikramaditya and Vikran. Uh, and therefore, the nose undercarriage and the other undercarriage, as you mentioned, mm. are very strong. Secondly, when it lands, uh, you know the aircraft has to come to halt within a distance of about 80, 90 meters from the trapping, as you mentioned. Yes. And therefore, the, the, you know, the bang on the deck of the undercarriage is quite heavy. And therefore, the whole airframe is a little bit different. I must tell you uh, that the marine aircraft does not have a two-seater, uh, mm. but that is nothing new with the Indian Navy. We didn't have a trainer for the Seahawk, and it used to do traps uh, landing. And I'm certain that our pilots will be able to uh, crack that. Um, amazing. And, and, and you know, it, it's fun talking to someone like you, uh, Admiral Sinha, because you've actually done this kind of thing. You know, most of us can't even imagine what this sort of thing is. It's, it, it, it's scary to even look at how these jets land on that tiny little surface on a carrier deck. But Admiral Anup Singh bringing you in on this as well. Uh, uh, you know, in, 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 in many people's estimation, the Indian Navy is seen as the ignored service. You know, their priorities always come last. It looks like in Paris this time, the Indian Navy is in pole position. You know, from Rafales to submarines, it's all about the Indian Navy, sir, in Paris. And why not, Shiv? Yeah. Uh, it's all right to call us the silent service, but why yeah. not? And ultimately on Bastille's Day. Yeah. Where else? So as, uh, as Admiral Sinha uh, elaborated to you, um, you know, this is perhaps the only deck-based fighter anywhere in the world which has been made of carbon composites. Mm. And the good thing about it is that it really fits the requirements that the Navy has on its two carriers at the moment and whenever the third carrier comes up. The most important thing is that we do not operate carriers with catapults. The last yeah. aircraft carrier that we operated in the catapult was the old Vikram. It became unsustainable because of its steam machinery. And that's how we changed over to ski jumps. Now, on a ski jump, to have an aircraft taking off from an aircraft carrier under constrained conditions when there is not enough wind, for example, you have to have a powerful enough and yet light enough aircraft. Mm. And imagine the Rafale just fits the bill. Also, another thing is that the Rafale, you'd be surprised to know, has a footprint on deck of just 10 meters, as against the MiG-29, which consumes 13 meters of length or wingspan. So it really does good insofar as space management in the hangar and on the deck is concerned. Yeah. And finally, the Rafale, apart from being, as I said, light compared to other aircraft of, uh, of this size, is because this was perhaps one of the first aircraft particularly deck-based fighters, which was made, whose airframe was made of carbon composites. Yeah, yeah. So that's made all the difference. It's, it's, and it makes such a huge difference because uh, yeah. not only does it make these aircraft uh, lighter and more agile, but also perhaps more long-lasting. And remember, the Indian Air Force already operates the Rafale. The Rafales started arriving in 2020. 
uh, uh, the deliveries were completed in 2022 December, if I'm not mistaken. And so we are, the Indian military already has about two and a half years of experience in operating these jets. General Kulkarni, you know, I know you don't belong to the Indian Navy, but you feel just as strongly on a day like today. Uh, uh, huge, it's a, you know, this is, this is huge because uh, Rafale fighters, submarines, desperately needed. We all know what's happening as far as India's security scenario is concerned. And it looks like the government has bitten the bullet. You know, yes, there's an election less than, te you know, less than a year away, but we are going to go ahead and announce it because when it comes to the armed forces, that's the priority. Uh, Chef, thank you very much. I think there's uh, nothing like it, nothing like it. To have a strong Navy makes India proud. Yeah. And that is the need of the uh, maritime security, maritime environment, where you find the constant, you know, the area space management and the way the Chinese are not letting us on the, uh, you could say, on the sea lanes of uh, now communication anywhere and everywhere. Hmm. It's very, very important. And we have always seen French as the most dependable strategic partners. That's something which is very important. These conventional Rafael came yeah. in for the sky, and now you have the maritime Rafael along with the Scorpion, the repeat orders for three of them. The kind of the exorcist missile, the anti-submarine warfare, all of it is going to add a tremendous amount, and that's the need of the hour. You know, with France, uh, Chef, we've been all along, I think post-independence, whether it was the Mr. Aircraft, or even if you see space, or you see communication, you see GSAT, you see all kinds of solar alliances, civil nuclear cooperation, yeah. blue economy and governance, cyber security, cy preventing cyber crimes, artificial intelligence, the exchange program of students, everything with France. I think really we expect as much as you got quantitative uh, equipment from Russia, we got really technologically qualitative equipment from France. And there was nothing better than to have this kind of an arrangement.